all right so what is going on today youtube back again with another duel of world challenge versus vendreds um i believe wait no yeah this is vendred this might be Vin, either vendred synchro or this is the regular vendreds that i'll be playing but yeah so as you can see starts off with the transmodify um which i, I just very hate that i hate that card so much man i hate transmodify really do hate it every time i play world chalice they always have it but as you can see here, he's starting off with a uh, M Duke play, which is going to grant him a extra normal summon, so he can go ahead and go into that scolded, as you can see. So bam, bam, bam. So hopefully, you know, I got something in response of that, and I do with the Valor, which is uh, beautiful. But um, like always, every time I play my brother, it uh, it's one card that he seems to draw literally every game, and it's it's so charged because it's absolutely nothing I can do when you play perfect, and you know I, I can only I only can beat people with with the stuff I can control. I was just about to cuss, but I only can beat people with the stuff I can control, and um, that's something I just can't I can't play around. I can't play around the soul charge. There's nothing I can do. Now, granted, you could you know easily I could have just Venus. I mean, could veil it to Venus, but I mean I'm not I'm not playing around soul charge. I'm trying to stop him plays, get you know make him use as much resources as he can. And, um, <clears throat> it's like, it's, it's, I was just, just pitiful. But anyways, we're going to let him do his plays. What I'm going to be talking about is, uh, pretty much on, I believe Monday, uh, I did upload a war challenge video, but it was no commentary on that one. And that was because, um, after recording the whole commentary, uh, <clears throat> my mic was not in the right socket. So yeah and then i was already 30 minutes in so i was like you know what man i'm just gonna put the video out with some music so hopefully you guys did enjoy the music and stuff like that because <laughs> i tried man i tried to get you guys a video and then the reason why i was rushing was because i was supposed to upload it on friday so thursday night uh actually it was wednesday night because thursday night i went uh to go play Yu-Gi-Oh uh, at locals i don't know why i said it like that but i went to locals so I didn't have no time then. So I was trying to hurry up, hurry up, do it Wednesday. Was not able to do it. Um, and before I went to locals, uh, like I was trying to try and then like it was just it just was not happening. So I was like, you know what? I'm just going to put the uh, the um, what's the name going to put the, uh, you know, the music on there. Hopefully you guys do like it. And uh, yeah, so that was the reason why I didn't have the commentary. But we should have commentary for the rest of the duels, barring something like that happening again. But hopefully it doesn't. So, anyways, uh, he uh, burnt fusions for a Ava. Um, he's sending Ava, and the Ava effect activate triggers to get him, uh, get him the uh, what do you call it? The um, the Herald of Arc Light with a Lee. Uh, he's going to use M Duke's effect here. Um, he's going to be able to uh, search another card. And as if you guys can, I mean, pretty sure you guys already seen it, but he did take a Skoldy pretty much, or I gave him a Skoldy. That's because we only have three Skoldies between us. And, um, yeah, it's, uh, <laughs> uh, we only have three Skoldies between us. Um, I don't have an extra one, so he was letting me borrow it. That's why, you know, let him use it. So technically we both have two in the deck, which you're going to see us do. And then also, um, I couldn't find my link spider at the time. So, <clears throat> I was just going to be using what he's going to get hand me his from time to time and stuff like that. So, yeah, but as you can see, he's going completely off just because of that. So charge put him really just put him back in the game man. like holding the effect Valor um, is good because, you know, you, you don't want to affect Valor Venus because last time when you do that, they keep all the shine balls. So later on, if they want to affect, you know, if they draw into a Venus once again, you know, that's automatically three Venuses come, I mean, three Shine Balls, or in this case, two Shine Balls, because he transmodified, um, and then you don't want that, you just don't want that, but, yeah, man, I, I tried to play around it, but you can't play around Soul Charge, so as you can see here, he's just doing his World Chalice things, uh, and, and there's not really too much I can do, I can't really stop him, um, what I'm banking on is to draw some type of uh, extra special summoning support, um, and then hopefully if I can draw that, I'm able to play um Yu-Gi-Oh, but you know if i don't that's going to be pretty much the end of it and then there's the world legacy heart so he's going to add two cards even back to his hand so now i have to fight through a firewall i have to fight through a herald of arc negation and a back row and uh, i draw and then i go 
uh, let's see what I do. I normal summon solitaire, activate the effect of solitaire, and he pretty much is going to negate it. So, yeah, that's it for game one. All right, so that is game one. Hope you guys are enjoying the video. If you guys are enjoying the video, uh, hit that subscribe button. If you guys want to support the channel even further, go ahead and donate to the channel. Uh, the links are down below. Besides that, enjoy the video. All right, so we are back with the game to um, Avenger vs. World Chalice. Guy, after I get my face stumped in. Uh, I, feel, I, feel, I feel like I'm be able to do something going first now. So, <clears throat> as you can see, start off with the allure banishing the revenants, and then we follow that up with a pre prep to uh, get uh, the slayer with the origin. So, um, right here, I'm thinking, all right, what can I do? Because I do have a solitaire, I believe. Do I have a solitaire? Um, I'm not. The, I do have a solitaire. So uh, now. Uh, I'm sitting here. I put it back on the field because I don't. I mean, he he decided he wanted to side, uh, even though we were just playing for fun. I didn't really have a side deck for this deck, so I'm like, dude, why? Like, why is he siding? But I get hit with the Herald of Orange Light because uh, that's just stuff. That's just stuff that happens, and so I'm like, uh, well, I do have a Valor in my hand. I believe I have either one or two Valors. I don't know. I sped this video up, so <laughs> I can't really see. I see one Valor though. I see one Valor. Um, in my hand, as you can see, it's next to the, uh, what's the name? I am moving quite a bit, but <clears throat> yeah, so, uh, first play is stopped and I'm thinking, all right, well, you know, I got a Valor so I can stop something. And so I'm thinking if, if a Venus does hit the board, I have, I'm forced to, I'm forced to a Valor now because I don't want another soul charge happening. But then again, if he has a soul charge, it was happening anyway because of the Lee, and the Herald of Orange Light in the graveyard. So um, I don't think that would be too good. So here he goes. He goes into the M Duke. Or actually, he goes. Yeah, he does go into an M Duke. And then right here, I'm thinking, uh, should I Valor? Should I not? And I choose not to Valor. Um, he uh, uses Lee to send uh, World Chalice to the graveyard. And then I Valor the Lee. Because now I know that not only did he lose his extra normal summon, I think he has the Lee, and then here comes the Brilliant Fusion, which I have just, it's just so impossible to really stop this deck without 3 million hand traps. Um, and you not having nothing on the board is just already bad enough. Um, <clears throat> so I'm sitting here thinking, all right, well, this is just, this is game. So I'm like, well, there's not, nothing really I can do. World Chalice is a very, very hard deck to beat because they have so many avenues, so many ways to get places. And then the fact that it's it's perfect because not only did they get boost with Skoldy and stuff like that, also the declining use of uh the declining use of uh Ash Blossom and stuff like that, it's really helping the deck out. So here he sends Ava to use the effect to search him two more level two fairies which i believe is going to get the same exact combo um which is the herald of uh, orange light so i'm thinking all right how is he going to be able to beat me i'm pretty sure he's going to have the world chalice guy sitting in his hand so i'm thinking uh yeah this is just pretty much over not only not only is it pretty much over uh he <laughs> he um is he, you know i'm not going to be able to just stop him because he has the uh herald of orange light which can negate any hand trap from my hand and it's just it's just not looking too good for me as of right now. So I'm sitting here. I didn't even I didn't even shuffle this deck because I'm thinking, well, he's just gonna go back in. There's no, nothing really I can do about that. Um, he summons Exodius, and so I'm thinking, okay, maybe his hand isn't that good because when you have to summon Exodius without you know really doing anything or really putting something on the field, then that means that your hand can't be that good like he i'm just thinking it can't be that good he doesn't he can't he can't have the five star because he definitely would have dropped it by now there's no reason no there's no reason to preemptively uh summon exodius there's no reason to do that you might as well get as much monsters as you can in your graveyard so when you pot an average pretty much everything back you're going to be straight to go um but right there he only got three so here he's going to go is he's going to link up to i believe a ib or I believe he's going to a ib. Um, I'm not too sure, but I believe he does go to a ib. 
Um, and you guys can tell like how long this duel took <laughs> because uh, we're going almost 1.5 speed right now. Um, and that would have just been this, this, after this, like, just imagine if this was regular speed, it'd probably be like a 40 minute duel. Um, <clears throat> I forgot to turn off my phone <laughs> Well, at least the sound on my phone, but uh, he does end up going into a ib. And then, uh, what does he do? I think he just goes to an attack because I'm thinking like, okay, like, what are you going for here? Because you, you're like, you're not able to put a what's the name on a board. Like, what are you going for? Um, and so here he just goes to an attack because that's what we were talking about. I'm like, dude, we're like, what are you doing? Like, you, like you're not doing anything of importance right now. You're just sitting here trying to basically lose the game. <laughs> that's what I told him. I said, I, I don't know what you're doing. Like, this doesn't seem like, uh, <laughs> this doesn't seem like the greatest of plays to be doing. So, um, he hits me with 18 and I believe he's in his main phase too. Now he's thinking about what he can do. Um, and I'm sitting here like, come on, man. Like, come on. Like I, I, I got, I already got the pre prep going. Like I, I just need, um, the perfect card and I can possibly game him depending on what I draw, but I, th I still think it's his turn. Um, oh no, he went to go do something. That's what <laughs> I was wondering. I was like, wait, what's taking so long? But he did, uh, end up going to do something. As you see, he did get up. Um, put his hand down the side. So I believe uh, he went to go into the trash. I don't know why I didn't cut this part out. I, I really don't know. You can see, you see how long, like it, it, it. <laughs> I really didn't cut the part out. But I guess right now we could just say that. Um, uh, I hope you guys are enjoying the duel as of right now. If you guys would like to support the channel, or you guys want to see different duels, different decks, and stuff like that, definitely leave it in the comment section below. Let me know. Um, we can play against Light Swords. We can play against. Uh, pendulums um i can play more of my link zombie warrior deck which i really have a lot of fun playing with um but yeah so <clears throat> oh it is my turn i guess he did in this turn he went to go do something so right here i uh, activate origin to bring out slayer which i uh tribute the mizuki from the hand and the solitaire from the graveyard and then i'm able to search battle lord which that right there <clears throat> is so good, man. I just, let me let me preface my statements. Battle Lord, I really do like you, but the fact that you're not, you know, you know, you're not um, what's the name? It, it's really garbage. So here I go. I use Origin again to special summon um, Battle Lord for my hand because now I'm trying to. What I'm trying to do is bait the orange light, and also if he doesn't want to use orange light, he does pretty much turn off everything from his deck. Right now I'm using Slayer's effect to search a ritual spell, and I'm thinking, please. Don't do it here. If you don't do it, I mean, don't do it here because if you do it here, <laughs> I'm just in some trouble. So here, he, he doesn't end up doing it. He actually lets me slide with the Slayer, which I, I don't kind of agree with. But now I'm trying to play around the Orange Light because what <clears throat> Battle Lord does when he dies is he does pretty much the opposite of Slayer. He searches a ritual monster and dumps a, a, a Vendred. So here I'm thinking, how can I play around that so now i send vendor revenant so just in case he does want to activate um just in case he does want to how to orange light it i'm gonna i'm gonna basically the next monster i put out on the board is going to be equipped with revenants and then i'm be able to banish special summon monsters so we're all good and also we can dump hound horde so literally we're going to be able to you know pretty much be able to win from there so <clears throat> here he's contemplating about what if he wants to do it or not right now since he let that slayer go i'm thinking absolutely i'm about to i'm about to beat you because not you let the slayer go so now if you kill something i'm equipped in uh i'm gonna have a ban i'm gonna be able to banish spells and trap and i'm also going to be able to banish a uh, special summon monster which vent would uh world chalice needs to continue most of their plays if you get there if you hit the right card you're, you're good you're gucci and stuff like that so he's contemplating um, he's going to check my graveyard again. I do have a Mizuki, so like I said, a long, I'm just trying to bait the Herald of Orange Light. And if he can't do it, he if he doesn't do it, he doesn't do it. He does not end up doing it, and that is going to be his downfall because now I am going to be able to OTK him because now right, what I'm going to do is use Unu Zombie to dump the Spirit Master. And then the Spirit Master, I'm going to, oh, uh, what's the name? I'm going to use... Uh, Revendra at origin to banish spirit master and the solitaire uh so you know what's going to happen i'm gonna pop that and i'm going to special summon the uh <clears throat> solitaire back and so he's at a smooth eight thousand 
Um, I believe he's at, yeah, he should be at 8,000. There should be turn three. So right now I'm going to sync up with Unizombie and Spirit Master, Banish Revendred, uh, the Banish, what's the name? And he's going to be 4,800 with the Sun Saga. And then when Slayer attacks, he's going to be at 27. So 27 over that is 900. Um, and then 27 again, which is uh, 27 to 900 is 30. What is that? A 38 no yeah 38 and then 48 is game so uh, we're able to get there folks <laughs> all right so that was the end of game two hope you guys are enjoying it who you guys think gonna win game three do you think it's vendredge or world chalice stay tuned for below besides that enjoy the rest of the video guys <laughs> so i was able to come back and do some big, big damage uh, going, uh, uh, be able to OTK because of that Battle Lord. So, yeah, man, I really do like Battle Lord. Just really wish it was a quick effect. But uh, I, I'm just going to say that every time Battle Lord comes up. But <clears throat> finally, get to go into the game three. So, right now, we're going to see he's going to start off with the Kaiju Waterhouse and then the e Tally. So, I'm thinking, holy sh, like I'm done for. Like, I, there's nothing, I have no hand traps. I'm done for. He opened up. Uh, uh, <laughs> he opened up. Uh, e Tally with a waterfront, and I believe waterfronts at one or two in his deck, and E Tally is at one, as you guys can already tell. Um, and it's just like, oh man, is this is this awful. This is why uh, World Chalice Man is is so just so good, is because the fact that you could just do all these plays, you could play all these random cards and then just be able to basically abuse them. And he also has a brilliant fusion. So I'm thinking, yeah, man, this like, what, what, what can I do? So I'm thinking, all right, well, this is, has to be the worst of it, man. E telling the Kaiju waterfront and a brilliant fusion, man. Like this has to be the worst. Okay. You can get a lead, but no, it's, it's, it's not the worst because now I realized, Oh, he's sending Lee. He can bring a lead back. And he's going to be able to uh, search the what's the name. And he always has a double summon. So there's nothing really I can do to, to stop anything that's happening here. So I check uh, the, the effect of Waterfront because I'm thinking, all right, I, he has to mess up. At least if he messes up, we can win. I can do something. But, um, yeah, he, he's, he's not going to mess up, folks. He's just going to he's just going to watch watch and see what's going to happen here. So. Um, he's going to use Lee Effect. I believe he sends Link Spider to the grave. I'm not too sure. He should not send Link Spider. I believe he sends uh, Seraph Knight to the grave. Um, actually, I don't know what he sends to the grave. Let's see what he does here. Um, and if I'm not mistaken, he has he has Transmodify in his hand. Uh, he sends Guard Dragon. Jesus Christ. So, like, not only do you have Brilliant Fusion Waterfront e -Teller, you also have a Guard Dragon, which is another, another monster to be born. Uh, for any like basically for any normal monster on the link. So I'm thinking oh man What what like what else does he have like I could contend with all this? But the fact that if you know, he's gonna be able to get that uh, five star which is going to be able to normal summon right now It's just it's just not fair man. It's really not fair and it's like I said man It's very very hard to stop world challenge because once they get going they get going and I think he dropped his whole deck if I'm not mistaken, I'm thinking like, yeah, you can't do that, bro. Like, there's no link, there's no link monster pointing over there. So, I'm really, I'm trying, man. I'm trust me, I'm thinking of everything I can, so he would not be able to, you know, at least he can mess up, go skull deep with only three monsters or something like that. Uh, I'm just thinking like, please, man, if you if you just don't have anything, so he tribute summons and then he activate guard. <laughs> to get the normal back out because uh he finally opened up a link zone now that's at three so now he's able to search he's able to search gamma seal which is just i i don't understand kanavi why would you even though he searches radiant because he already has i think he already has the gamma seal sitting in his hand which is just <laughs> which is just even more terrible but uh, he searches radiant um, and then, as you can tell, he has four different monsters, so you know what's happening. Skodit is going to be hitting the board here with such a ferocity, be, su such this, this, such this, this is just crazy because not only does he get to draw four, put back three, he gets to special summon two more monsters off of what's the name, off of the uh, the five star, the World Legacy, World Chalice, I believe that's what the name is, or World Chalice, World Legacy. 
Um, so pretty much I can, I consider it a plus six because you're not really losing no advantage. You're just gaining cards. Um, you get to draw four new cards and you get to, you know, you get the special summon too. So I feel like it's a plus six, uh, the consensus is only a plus three, um, because not, not actually it's not really a plus three technically because what you lost four, um, you only, your special summoning two, you lost four, you have skull deep. Uh, it's probably technically, it's technically even, but the fact that you can just recycle your whole hand, man, that's a plus. Um, so yeah, he's able to get two more monsters out and he, he can special summon uh gamma seal or the radion, which is going to give him another token, uh, for free. Um, and then, uh, to top everything off folks, I told you guys to top everything off, you know what he has in his hand, right? You remember the first duel? You remember the first duel of the video? You remember what I told you? Um, you remember what I told you folks? Do you remember? I hope you remember because you, you finna see it right now. Um, I told you, man, in the beginning of the video, it's just, you, you, you can't win. There's no possible way I can win. There's no possible way. Soul Charge happens every time he plays the game. It's not, look at his damn hand. He has Venus and a Kaiju. What am I supposed to do, folks? I don't know what I'm supposed to do. This is awful. But thank you guys for watching. Hope you guys enjoyed. War Chalice took it because that's what War Chalice does. That is it for today. Hope you guys did enjoy it. See you guys tomorrow.